YouTube, this is Custom K here with KKRC. So what I've got here is the uh, roll cage for the back of the um, Trail Finder 2 that I, uh, is going to be the last upgrade along with this toolbox. Um, the last major upgrade I guess you could say for the Trail Finder 2 and then it'll just be some scale items here and there. Uh, nothing major. But uh, this is part of the upgrade video too. Uh, where I've already installed the bumper and the winch and all that good stuff. Uh, but I decided to do a separate video on um, the roll bar. That way for anyone out there that uh, would like to see how to install it, how to do it, I'm going to do it step by step on film for you guys. So is what you get inside the package, which I'll go ahead and read off the uh, part number to you for this pack, for the uh, this roll bar here. It is steel. It's all metal, and even the um, this plate that you see that's on the bottom is uh, for tracing out for where to drill your holes. Um, which I, I'm really surprised that they actually made it out of steel too. I'm guessing maybe so it doesn't deform and uh, you don't drill your hole in the wrong spot. Maybe I'm not 100% sure, but I thought that was really cool how they made um, this piece out of uh, steel as well. So. The part number for this roll bar is going to be Z-S0771. You guys can see that there. Um, I picked up this roll bar off RC Four Wheel Drive. I think it was like 40 bucks, maybe something around there. I've seen them on eBay for 60 I don't know why or how people are selling them for that much. Um, but I believe that I, if I remember right, I paid $40 um, for this roll bar. And it's what you'll get is um, you'll get the roll bar and it'll be screwed onto this plate. I've already taken almost all the screws off, but you'll get um, four uh, button head screws to screw, the, uh, to screw it onto the truck. They're going to be what's holding the roll bar onto the plate when you get it. And a bag of four washers, which uh, will go... Uh, you know, obviously under the body to hold the screw into the body. Now, when you're doing this, you want to be very careful not to over tighten these screws because you, it is a possibility to crack your body um, when you're doing this. So, is what I'm going to go ahead and do now is I'm going to unscrew this last screw off of the um, off of this this plate that we're going to use to uh, use as our template. Just set those off to the side. You don't want to lose them. They don't supply any extras. Okay, and then here, here's the roll bar itself. Um, very high quality. Like I said, it's steel. Um, it does come painted in the black, so it'll match uh, my orange trail finder. Wee! Sorry, guys. <laughs> it'll match my orange trail finder just fine. So now. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring the body over here itself and we'll change angles for you so you can get a better look on what's going on here. Alrighty. So I've got the back of the body here is what you see in the shot. And it's going to be hard to see, um, you know, just bear with me because it is going to be black on black. But it's what you want to do is you just want to take this, um, this uh, template that they give you and just simply lay it in the back bed of the truck just like that. Make sure it's pushed up smooth, pushed up to the as close as you can get to the back of the bed, and also pushed down. But you don't want to D shape it in any way because then uh, the roll bar might not fit back where you screwed your holes. I'm gonna um, just go ahead and lay this over the holes, just to make sure that the holes do actually physically line up with the roll bar, um, which you probably will have to do a little bit of bending I noticed when I took the roll bar off of the um, off of the plate that it did flex out a little bit but nothing that's that should cause any trouble or anything like that this one is kinda I mean, this, this thing is steel so I don't see it I really don't see it deforming um, too much so I think we're gonna be good um, so as what you can do you can either do it one of two ways you can leave this template in here and just simply drill straight through which uh, I think that's probably what I'm gonna do 
um, or you can mark it and then remove the template and um, drill your holes. But I think I'm going to leave the, the steel in there and um, just drill through it. So you need to make sure you find as precise of a drill bit that you can find that fits through these holes without any um, any catching or any issues like that. That one there is a little, little tight, but uh, it seems to fit okay in all the other holes. So I think I'm going to roll with that there. And like I said, you want to make sure when you're drilling this that you're drilling straight down. Um, another hint and, and tip that I can give you is um, if you have, if you're running LED light kits or anything like that, to make sure that none of your wires or anything are in the way um, for when you drill through. You don't want to drill through your wires or anything like that. So I'm going to go off camera for a second and uh, set up my drill and um, and then we'll get to drilling. Alrighty guys, I've got uh, my drill plugged up, which you have to, uh, you guys can make fun of me if you want, but I haven't got all my tools moved over to this shop yet, so I am using a, uh, I am using a super ancient uh, drill, but I do have to say that this drill probably has more torque than any other drill <coughs> that you can buy out there on the market now. So I need to be really careful not to uh, catch my body and send it flying. Um, I am going to stand up to do this, and I'm also going to hold a flashlight in my mouth so I have a, because um, I don't have very good lighting in here yet either, uh, because I, this is I want to make sure that I get this as precise and straight as possible. This is very important, and once you start drilling, you cannot go back. So I'm going to check, double check one more time and make sure everything is lined up. Make sure the bar fits. And uh, then it's um, no turning back. I'm going to go ahead and start drilling. Here we go. I'm going to start with the back holes first, just because in my mind those seem like they're going to be the hardest holes to drill. So I'm going to do the back two first, and then move up to the two on the wheel wells. Alrighty, so, got, got the holes drilled, now this is the moment of truth, hopefully they line up. So I'm going to take my screws, and I think I probably will Loctite these, so I'm um, not sure how I'm going to install, actually put this in yet, I guess I'm probably just going to hold it, and uh, to get the first corners started, and um, then I'll screw in the other two. So, so what we're gonna do, you know, is take a little bit of thread locker. Dab just a tiny, tiny bit onto the screw. So I'm doing that off camera right now. And then I'm gonna just feed it through the hole. See, I'll do the bottom hole first. It's easier to get to. Alrighty, and then take the bar. I'm going to line it up here. And um, screw, start screwing it in. I'm not going to tighten it down all the way just yet. Just in case. Oh, almost forgot the washer. You're going to need that washer too, folks. Don't, don't do what I just did. And, uh forget to put those on. Those are very important because that's going to help keep those holes from getting wallered out. And um, yeah, I just said wallered. That's the southern word that we made ourselves. Hell yeah. <laughs> Sorry guys. Uh, so I'm going to redo a little bit more thread locker on there because I probably wiped it off with my hands. I've got that washer on there now, now that we're doing this the right way. Put it back in the hole. And uh... Just start simply screwing the um, roll bar onto the uh, to the bed of the truck. They are. 
start fighting with me a little bit. I really want to make sure I don't cross thread these. There we go. Now it's going in a lot smoother. So probably I'm going to go back and redo this screw here because it was fighting with me a little bit too. I don't want to cross thread these. So now I'm going to start to tighten them down. Like I said, I'm going to go in a diagonal pattern. And as soon as, like I said, as soon as they get snug, I'm stopping. I don't want to crack my body. That's the most important thing here. So a lot of these are looking pretty snug. I think that's going to pretty much wrap this up. All right, so that's it. We're going to turn it over and see how it looks. There we go. Um, and it's that simple, guys. It, it really is um, nothing to it. Now, I haven't heard anybody complain about um, these not lining up because when they ship it, it does ship with it screwed in uh, to this plate. So the bar definitely fits onto the plate. If for any reason you use this plate and drill your holes and it doesn't line up it's more than likely because you didn't drill straight or you moved the plate during the drilling process uh, because if it fits on this plate when it's shipped it should fit into the holes that you drilled as long as you drill it straight using this template um, so that pretty much wraps it up for the uh, roll bar um, roll bar installation Go ahead and show you the toolbox that I'm going to throw in there. It's going to go a little something like that, which hopefully this fits, which looks like the um, the roll bar will hinder it just a little bit unless I want to mount it farther forward like that, which I may, I just, I don't know, I don't really like that look with it sitting farther back like that. Let's see if I can close it and see how that would look there. It, it would sit something like that and I'm not sure if I like that sitting far back like that so I, I'm gonna do a little bit of testing before I mount this toolbox but that's another video um, so yeah folks that's it uh, it was real simple um, it wasn't near as hard as I thought it was gonna be I, did, I knew it was gonna be pretty simple I was just a little nervous about um, drilling these holes I didn't want to uh, screw my body up so uh, like I said, that that was um, it, it came mounted on that plate, so it should have no issues uh, bolting on to there. This will stiffen up the uh, the body a little bit, nothing too crazy, but uh, it definitely adds a good cosmetic um, appeal to it, and you know it does uh, negate rollovers a little bit. It might save your body just a little bit. It's pretty much flush with the roof, so it's really just for aesthetics probably mount that high lift jack right here or something maybe a little fire extinguisher you know that'll all come with time uh, but that's it folks that's how you install the uh, RC four wheel drive trail finder 2 um, rear roll bar thanks for watching uh, I hope it was helpful for you guys uh, if so if you like the video be sure to hit the like button and subscribe below uh, for more videos like this and um, for videos of this guy out on the trail see you then guys